Hey guys, how's it going? This is Ruby, and this is episode 22 of my Feed the Beast Machine tutorial series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the sorting machine from Red Power. The sorting machine is a machine primarily used to make your storage system more robust and more automatic. So, for example, let's just go ahead and go over the user interface, and then we'll jump into some other things with it. So, the side right here, you'll see this. This is going to be the energy for the machine. This top one is going to be the pull mode for if it's next to a chest or something like that. The second one is the actual sort mode, which we'll go over in a second. All these little inventory slots right here is where you're going to put your items and then their corresponding colors down here on the bottom this little Z and these two columns and these horizontals those are from the inventory tweaks mod so if you don't see these don't be worried it's just part of feed the beast so if we're gonna go ahead and let's grab some stone and if we were to put it in here we can select what color it's gonna be it's got every single color from the dyes within vanilla minecraft so any die that you can make you can sort it to that color to build the sorting machine you're gonna need five iron two red doped wafers a filter and then a blue alloy ingot and that's for the sorting machine powering the sorting machine is quite easy uh, for example I just have a regular old uh, blue tricity you know solar panel array coming into it and then what I have hooked up here is a transposer hooked up to a chest. So anytime I would put items into here, it would the transposer with the sequencer would automatically suck them out and they'll go straight through here. I don't have any sorting rules set up on here, so it's not getting colored or anything. It's just being a pass through. What the sorting machine primarily does is that it can you can assign colors to certain items and then from there you can tell it what pneumatic tubes to go through. So the way you do this is that you use what's called paint brushes. And it's got every single dye color that's in vanilla Minecraft. And how you make these is first you need to make the paint can. The paint can is from 10 plates, which you just uh, use 10 in. So what you're gonna need to make the paint can or the dyed paint can is you're gonna need the paint can itself, the dye, a flax seed and then another flax seed and that'll make this cyan paint then you take a regular paintbrush which is just crafted from a piece of wool and a piece of stick and then you're gonna bring that into your crafting grid and then you'll get the paintbrush now the paintbrush with the color has about 20 uses on it I believe and the cyan paint can or any paint really has uh, a bunch of uses on it so normally you won't have to refill it that often but it really depends on how robust your sorting machine is so some practical uses we're just gonna go ahead and set this up like I like this was my real storage system so first of all I just have a chest hooked up to a transposer getting powered from a sequencer pneumatic tube then going into the sorting machine which is powered by a little solar panel array over there so what we're gonna go ahead and do is that we see we have a blank canvas here so what we're gonna go ahead and do is just grab some stone some dirt some cobble and some wood and then we're gonna go ahead and open up the sorting machine and I'm just gonna drag these kind of in order just to make it easy and then I've already predetermined the colors or else you'd have to hear me doing a bunch of clicking and things of that nature and I just don't want y'all to hear me you know, clicking a million times so as we can see here we need some blue some lime some cyan and some magenta paint brushes so I'm gonna go back over here and I'm just gonna grab them real fast so now we're gonna go ahead and color the tubes and what you're going to do is just right click on the tubes and then you'll see them kind of highlight in whatever color you're holding. So we'll go ahead and make this one cyan, this one lime, and this one blue. And we're going to go ahead and make this one yellow and I'm going to show you why here in a minute. So now if we just go ahead and throw in our items that we had earlier. And I'm just going to throw them in one by one. And then you can see that the item is going to get a little colored border around it as it goes to 
the tube that's corresponding to it and if we look in the oops if we look in here we can see that the wood planks got a pink or magenta color so if we go ahead and throw some cobble we can see cobbles getting the cyan border and let's just go ahead and throw the other two in there as well see that one got blue and that one got lime and there we go so now why did we make this yellow well, for instance, if for a more practical use, if you are, say, hooking this up to a quarry and you want to, like, sort out your diamonds and your uranium or something like that, and you want that to go to a really, like, a, you know, a really high-end chest or something like that, or if you just want it to go into a specific barrel, what you can do is you can use this mode that I have selected right here. This mode is called the Any Item with Default Route. What this does is that this is going to point any items that you don't have in the sorting machine to a certain color. For instance, we already have this one on yellow. So any item that I throw in here that doesn't correspond to any of them is going to get a yellow border, as we can see there, because we don't have the blue paintbrush in our system. And there we go. We see that it made the route safely. And now this is just kind of a fail safe because if you put any items into the sorting machine that don't belong or don't have routes, it's, it's going to back your sorting machine up and there's going to be some problems. However, if you have a tube that's just not colored and it's just a regular pneumatic tube, some of these items won't always go to their colored ones. So, for example, if this was a regular let's see we're going to type it because it doesn't work if you middle click if this was a regular one and if we go ahead and get some of our items back and we throw those in there let's see if any of them are going to do it none of them did it but i did have it happen earlier where one of these colored ones went to this chest so Maybe that was a fluke. Let's try it one more time. Let's see if it's going to happen again. See, the blue skipped its pneumatic tube and went straight into this chest, which isn't colored. So that's why it's always wise to have this painted uh, as kind of your fail safe for if any items kind of you know get under the radar and and get into your sorting machine so you won't get any clogs another quick note about the sorting machine is its different modes for example I I'm probably at the most ever gonna use maybe three of these modes most people don't need to use kind of those unique modes that are built into it uh, I'm not gonna go over all of them because it'll be very long-winded and you're honestly probably get bored with me just talking so I'm not gonna go over all of them if you want to read more about the notes I'll put a link to the wiki in the video description and you can go check that out and see if any of these modes interest you that's gonna conclude today's tutorial if you have any questions, please feel free to post it in the comments below or send me a private message on YouTube. I read all my comments and all my messages, so I will get to your question. If this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it, a rating will be much appreciated. And subscribe as I always have new Feed the Beast videos coming out almost every other day, if not every day. Thank you. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. On the left, you're going to see my latest LP episode on the Hypermind server. Uh, it was filled up with a lot of fails, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. On the right is my Tesseract video. Later, guys.